So hello friends, in this session we are going to see some useful information about the geometric transformation of images using Python. So basically there are two types of transformations. One is projective and the other one is affine transformation. As you can see in this image, the affine transformation maintains the parallelism concept. Um, here, the parallel lines after taking transformation remains parallel and also the ratios are maintained in case of affine transformation. It is in projective transformation, the lines are not parallel after taking the transform. And the edges nearer appear to be longer than the edges that are farther away in case of projective transformation. In this session, we will see about two types of affine transformation, uh, which are subcategories of affine transformation. So we will see about translation and rotation. So first, we will see about translation. So here is the code for translation of an image. So what is translation? Trans in translation, you are going to shift an image in coordinate space by adding a specified value to the x and y coordinates. For example, you have an image and each pixel has a value, say x, comma y. You are going to add some value to the x and y coordinates, say del x and del y, so that it becomes x plus del x and y plus del y. So it gets shifted, it gets translated by a value del x or del y. So uh, now I'll show you the translation matrix for uh, this process. Here you can see the process. So 1, 0, tx, 0, 1, ty is the transformation matrix which gets multiplied with, the, uh, with our image. And as a result, we get the resultant image which gets shifted by tx by the value tx and ty. So in this case, uh, tx and ty are the required value by which we are going to shift it. Now we'll get back to the code. I'll explain you the code. Um, here you can see the first two lines are the uh, commands to import the library files and the next one to read it. You can, you know it very well. And the next line here you can see this is, we are going to obtain the size of the image. Uh, you can even put this in the ipython console and see what what is the size of it so yeah you just have to press enter and you can see the size of it so 259 comma 259 it represents the number of pixels in the rows and columns respectively and now uh, here what is x you're gonna get, uh, get x as a numpy array of the transformation matrix so you're gonna get the transformation matrix i've written 1 0 minus 30 0 1 minus 30 so minus 30 is the value of uh, tx and ty as we can we have seen here right tx and ty values i have taken is a negative you can even go with positive or negative uh, you can see the changes accordingly so here i have taken negative value so i have given that and uh, flow 32 is the data type it's a data type of the image there are so many data types of images which you can surf in the internet and now I am storing my uh, translated image in the variable new. So how do you obtain new? You are going to use the function cv2.warpaffine. So the warpaffine, it has three arguments passed inside it. You can see, right? So the first argument is uh, refers to which image you want to translate. So that is img here. And the next one, x, uh, that is the uh, translation matrix or the transformation matrix which I have used. And the next one, it represents the columns and rows, which I want to convert my transformed image to. So, note a point here. Uh, conventionally, we use rows, comma, columns. But here it's columns, comma, rows, which represents the within height of the uh, image which we want. That's it. So, we have got the new image. And you just want to show the original and the translated image. So, I'm just using I am show here. Um, now, let me run it. See, you can see, this is the original and this is the translated image. Uh, I have used minus 30 for the translation uh, purpose and you can even change it. Uh, for example, now I will give you positive value and see how it comes out. You can even change the value of 30. It depends on your own desired value. So now, um, let's see how it works. Here. So just change the values and see what happens. You can give both positive and negative values. And now, now I'll show you the code for rotating an image. 
uh, but before that tell me what is rotation what, what are we going to do in rotation so rotation is a geometric transform which maps uh, x, x1 comma y1 in an input image onto a position say x2 comma y2 in an output image by rotating through a user defined uh, angle theta about the origin z uh, o say o you can have it as o so in this why do we go for all these geometric transformations and rotation or translation so with the help of this we are going to improve the visual appearance of it not only that we are also going to uh, make it as a preprocessor so this access uh, this geometric transformation acts as a preprocessor after which we can do many operations so for example in this case rotation acts as a preprocessor so we are giving the input rotate it do some operations which we want and then we unrotate and we give the output so this operation these operations it acts as a preprocessor for many other uh, operations um yeah so uh, we'll, this is the code for rotation and before that let me show you the uh, transformation matrix so here you can see cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta this is the transformation matrix uh, so this is this is how rotation is done this is the matrix representation of rotation now i'll show you the coding part the first three lines no <laughs> the first four lines <laughs> yeah so that is so simple i hope you'll get it and in this also we are using the function warp affine it has the same three arguments but then how are you get, gonna get the value of x x is got by the function by using so you're gonna get the rotation matrix that is got by the function cv2 dot get rotation matrix 2d so here also we have three arguments passed inside it the first argument it represents the center uh, center is nothing but you're gonna get the point about which rotation has to happen so you're gonna divide the column by 2 and the rows by 2 and here uh, minus 90 it is the angle through which I have to rotate my image uh, so this also can be negative or positive uh, so this is uh, this facility is available so that you can do both clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation and the next one one it represents the scale so i want my image to be in uh, the same size as the original image so i'm giving one you can reduce or uh, increasing it according to your needs and now so we got x and also we got the uh, res where i'm storing my output image so all i have to do is just display the original image and the image res so that i can just compare it so let me run it here you can see is the original image here this one oh sorry and uh, this one rotated image you can see that also um here also you can maybe change the values and see what happens and you can even change this let me try this 0.5 yeah see it has been rotated by a degree of 45 degree with a scale of uh, scale percent having 0.5 so you can change it see what happens um, so go and try don't just stop here see for uh, more geometric functions I'll even tell you about more geometric functions in the next session so you also go and try and have fun happy learning people thank you